Hey squad, welcome back to the channel. My name is Mike and on today's episode, we are going to continue our pediatric conversation and talk about ideal body weight, tidal volume, and the BVM for the pediatric patient. Earlier this year, I did a video explaining why we need to switch the discussion from visible chest rise while bagging our patients to giving them proper tidal volume for their body. If you missed that video, check it out by clicking the card above my head right here. Remember, the bag valve mask is a positive pressure air delivery device. Also remember that we all suck at bagging patients properly under normal circumstances. Now add the fact that you're breathing for a three-year-old toddler or even a baby. Do you really believe you're controlling those ventilations accurately and effectively, or are you frantically squeezing the BVM because you're amped up 3,000%? This is why we as providers need to shift our focus from frantic ventilations and visible chest rise to controlled ventilations and bagging the appropriate tidal volume for the lungs of our patients. But how do we calculate tidal volume in pediatrics? Contrary to the one mathematical formula to calculate adult ideal body weight, there are five different methods to calculate pediatric ideal body weight. The McLaren, Moore, BMI 50, American Dietary Association, and TROB methods all work. However, a research letter presented in the JAMA Pediatrics found that the TRA method statistically showed the most similarities between the other methods in both younger and older children, whereas the other methods had vast different totals between each calculation. Let's jump onto the computer and break down the TRA method's formulas for ideal body weight. All right, so the first thing that I want to reiterate is when we're dealing with pediatric ideal body weight, we are dealing with it in kilograms, okay, or kilograms. So just remember that all things, all weight in ideal body weight, both for male and female, pediatric and adult is always done in kilograms, okay? So the biggest thing that you need to remember with pediatrics is it goes by height height under five feet tall and height over five feet tall according to this TROB method, okay? So we're gonna start with the under five feet formula and because they're under five feet, this TROB method does not differentiate a formula for boys and for girls, it just has one formula. All children under, all pediatrics under five feet and that's gonna be Height in inches, inches, and that's going to be squared times 1.65, okay? And that's the first part of the equation. And then you're going, once you get that answer, you're going to divide it by a thousand, okay? And this will equal ideal body weight in kilograms okay so this this formula is going to be utilized in any child any pediatric that is under five feet tall does not matter whether they are male or female all right now that we've done under five feet tall let's do over five feet tall and here's the differentiation because the kids are getting older they differentiate between the males and the females. So for boys over five feet tall, it's gonna be 39 plus 2.27 times their height in inches minus 60. Okay, and this will give you that ideal body weight for men. Okay, and remember that ideal body weight is in kilograms. Now moving on to girls taller than five feet, it's gonna be 42 plus 2.27 times 
Again, their height in inches, minus 60. Okay, so there is your ideal body weight in kilograms for the female population. Now that you know the math, go and find the BVM that your agency uses and find out how much exact volume the reservoir holds. Pediatric BVMs typically hold 500 to 700 milliliters of air and your infant holds around 250 milliliters. Depending on their ideal body weight, you may have to utilize an infant BVM for a toddler. This way, you're giving an appropriate amount of tidal volume and not overinflating the lung tissue. As always, guys, stay safe out there, and I will see you in the next video.